Most people stay stuck in chaos because they overlook the three foundational systems that they should be built into the daily workflow. And without them, it's nearly impossible to stay focused organized or consistent no matter how motivated you are. So in this video, I will walk you through my structure to stay in flow, reduce overwhelm and get meaningful work done daily without relying on willpower or motivation. This is the same system I teach inside the Chaos to Clarity cohort. And once you see it, you will understand why productivity isn't about doing more. It's about designing your mind to work with you, not against you. So I had a company in the past and let me tell you, damn, this was unorganized and this cost us a lot of money and time. And if you want to know how much money we made, because most people are really focused on money, we made 300,000 our first year. But honestly, I would rather earn less, take a bigger win at home and have more fun at work. And this is also why I'm starting this productivity YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you my entire notion system, which is this one here. And I go through all components and how you can either rebuild this technique and method based on your notion skills or you just buy the template in a link below. So it's really up to you. So I'm just trying to get into the way on how to really like use notion for your advantage, because in my opinion, and also in my past experiences, notion is, notion is really complicated and can either create more chaos and not really a lot of flow. So in this video, I want to go through a really specific technique I developed after a lot of years of trial and error, building a company and then selling this company and just doing the stuff what I'm doing right now. So if you're interested, this is the, the template you can buy. Like this is everything. So it's kind of like empty. There's a tutorial here how to use it. So the guidance and tutorial in a YouTube video, everything will be explained there. Um, and this is my own system I use every single day. And there's a lot of other projects I'm currently working on. So we are here. We can either do any quick task or quick video capture. So if you really want to quickly do a task on your phone or your iPad, or when you're opening up the computer, you can do either do a quick task or a quick video idea capture. You can rebuild if you want this for any other type of content. If it's like thread post, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever you want. Honestly, this is up to you. I use it for YouTube long form content and for my thread posts, I do, I use another software for writing. So yeah, um, then once beneath, we have the 12 week system. So I call it the 12 week content system. And I always try to only do maximum three videos per week. And I mostly just finish two videos and not three. So as you can see here, this is for this week. So this is this video and I'm not sure if I finished this one today, but yeah, let's see. Um, the goal is always like minimum two and maximum three. And I'm currently in the 90 days. So this is a specific week or a system I use. And yeah, this is contributed to the 12 week content system, which there's a lot of other content I have about the 90 day challenges. So on the right side here, you can see the notion second brain. There's actually three specific things I have. It's my mind universe, kind of like my entire business system and everything, how I built my way of doing business, which has really changed a lot after five years of doing business. I call it the unique mechanism, the concepts and the libraries, the idea libraries. Then we have the para method. This might be familiar with a lot of people by Tiago Forte. We have the projects, areas, resources and archives. And this will, I will come to this in a few minutes. Um, then we have the database I use. It's mostly for task content database, which is the one below on the bottom here. Then we have the newsletter database. This is something where I transition my, for my writing, writing software, which is Cortex. Um, and I transition the newsletters stuff or like the written stuff inside the newsletter database. And from the newsletter database, I create my YouTube videos. And then we have the YouTube script database. This is a pretty interesting one here. Um, I will come to this a bit later on. Then we have the thumbnail inspiration. Um, this is like, I, just, I think I just showed it for a second. I just put like my random thumbnails inside here, which I just fi find interesting and maybe I want to replicate them or make any similar ones. So this is just for like some inspiration. Then we have the title database, which I'm currently developing. This is also like both stuff will be shared to you for free. 
Uh, so I'm still developing these things and make them a, in a good Notion system. Um, then we have the Figma whiteboard database. It's not too important. This is also not a project I'm currently developing and also the, the button system and shared knowledge space, just something for future content. Um, yeah, so let's continue. We have the daily tracker. So I really hope um, most of you can't really speak German too much. <laughs> and and later, yeah, so I do the things between German and English here. So I don't really use this stuff here. I have a specific writing software, but this is like the stuff I do every single day. So like my content, how many hours did I work? Did I had a good flow today? I have, I'm currently suffering from an arm injury. So my flow is less qualitative than in the, in the past. So and I always tick the box if I had some coffee, which is, which is here. It's my second coffee always with some, with some matcha. Um, to like keep it cool, L-theanine, etc. Um, then we have, yeah, then I do my work hours, everything. So this is just a daily tracker, so nothing too important. Then we come into a bit more interesting part. I call it the flowing project and task system. So I do it, we can either have it weekly, like this view here and everything, every task I don't finish, they will be moved to the next week. So there are some tasks which are not that important. And then I just move them to the next week if I couldn't finish them. And honestly, there's a lot of tasks I don't really need to do every single day. It's just good if I can do it in a way. Um, and there's also some specific goals I want to achieve. So I try to have like this monthly or weekly overview of the task I need to do. And this is for example, one which will come up in a few days. This is also the task which I kind of like need to do now. And yeah, I mean, I kind of did this in some way so I can take this off. Um, and then on the right side here, we have the 90 day challenges, which is another method or concept I have, which I build an entire free course on this one. Um, you can actually join the 90 day challenge after the chaos to clarity, like the seven days chaos to clarity. There's a specific challenge. This, these are like actually challenges I'm running. So I have the first challenge, which is the chaos to clarity, which is kind of like the introduction into my cohort and what I'm actually doing and how my business works. And then after the seven days of challenge, you can either join the cohort if you're interested. Also, every link is down below or you transition to the 90 day challenge, which is a 90 day free email course on building your own business. And yeah, so this is like monthly stuff I'm trying to do. So for example, I'm still in month one for the 90 day challenge number two in this year. Um, and then we have, this is my stuff what I need to do. So this is polls and Q and A's. This is a lead list. Um, this is like content ideas, which I might develop in the next couple of days and or weeks and how I can help my audience more. So this is like a few things I'm, for example, trying to implement this month. And yeah, as you can see on the top here, I'm currently in week two and it's up to week 12 and even 13. 13 is like the transition week between break, having a break and doing a caffeine detox and the week afterwards. Yeah, so then we continue here. Um, this is the stuff. So I do both on the side so I don't miss it. So I know what are, what are the stuff I need to do this week and what is the stuff I need to do this month or what is the month, what is this month's primary projects. And this is like daily task. Um, so coming to the content part, this is where I'm producing all my YouTube stuff. So I put on the ideas as a concept sometimes and then need to develop a thumbnail to this. Sometimes I recreate the thumbnail. So I just, I keep them here. Or I just don't want to do them right now. And then I sometimes readjust the thumbnails when they're here. So this is like an inspiration of a thumbnail I developed already and I want to improve it. Then with the prioritization, this is like the content I might consider to do. So this needs some ideas. Maybe I need to improve something. It's not finalized. And then just the writing part where I'm like, hey, I create a newsletter out of it or I create the YouTube script for it. And then it's in this writing section and the news, uh, the, the thumbnails are actually already fully like same with these ones here. These thumbnails probably make it until the end of the YouTube video. Similar to these, one, these ones, this, these will be the uploaded thumbnails. And then we have the record ones, which are currently these three or these two and three. This is a similar version, which I might think to do. And, and these ones are the videos I still need to do edit or currently do. 
I'm not that happy from the recording, so I might redo do them, but yeah, never mind. And yeah, this is actually the first page of it. And we can all, and now we go into the second brain. So this one is not too important for you right now. Similar to the pro, uh, similar to this, this stuff is not that important. Similar to the stuff here. What we want to go into are specific things. We want to go into the projects. The projects are, for example, like things I'm currently doing, like 1000 euro project. Um, this is a part of a challenge. Um, then it's a community building. These are like currently like project I'm currently developing. Then we have areas, which is a really important thing. This is the specific chaos to clarity method, which is actually the part of my chaos to clarity method, which when you join the seven day challenge, I will explain this into further detail. Um, then we have the resources, which is more the connection to Readwise and some book notes. But honestly, I use this one more in Cortex in a second brain because I feel like it's better, more visualized. And Notion is n didn't really build a good transition for this. Um, yeah, and then we have the archive, kind of like the rubbish bin. And yeah, now we're coming a bit to two more interesting parts. So if you're really interested to create content and want to like make YouTube videos, which I'm doing right now, um, I have a bit of a YouTube script database, which I create. So for example, I have this YouTube video here. Um, and then we have, for example, the hook, which I talked right here. Then, and I always like for every new YouTube video, I, I do, I click it up. So like, for example, these are like past YouTube videos or future YouTube videos. So I just take one of them and then it shows me which scripts might be usable for this type of YouTube video. Then we have always have a specific hook, an authority like, hey, who am I actually? What is my past experiences? For example, my startup, which made 300,000. In the first year of doing business, we had like also big clients, which honestly is just a number on the paper. So I don't, I'm not really too bothered about this. I don't really want to drag too much about it because I don't really feel it's like crazy work, even though you made, we made a lot of money, but I don't know. I'm not really that proud of my performance or like my work. Like I felt that it was a bit shallow in my perspective. That's the reason I started this YouTube channel and this new uh, content business. Um, then this, the third one is always like a small call, call to action. So um, it's like, for example, hey, if you want for example, this Notion template, you can re either rebuild the system methods or you can just buy it, One, whatever you want to do. And yeah, and then we have, for example, the main content, which I just explained you how this method works. And I would also like to talk about a few things. So there's three systems, as, as I explained. We have the health protocol. So for example, it's really important to understand your health. Like if you don't have the health basics, you can't really focus and be productive and getting into a flow state. So if you're interested, you can make a screenshot of this one. These ones are all the things I know about health, like in an 80, 20 rule, like you should, when should you eat dark chocolate? Why should you um, consume apple cider vinegar, etc. Then we have the flow system, which I use. So for example, flow is the optimal state of consciousness where we feel our best and perform our best. So flow refers to the do's in the zone moments where focus gets so intense that everything else disappears. Action awareness starts to merge. Our sense of self vanishes, our sense of time as well. And all aspects of performance, both mental and physical, go through the roof. And this is based on Stephen Kotler from the Flow Research Collection. Um, then we have the real life Super Mario. This is a this is a short gamification. So it's really important to gamify your work because otherwise your motivation will suffer. And this is also why I'm actually doing all of this stuff, just to focus better. So I have ADHD, or I don't know whatever people think about ADHD. Like people sometimes even think they have ADHD, but they just their minds are just destroyed from like social media. Um, so I kind of need more like gamification work and it also boosts a lot and you also get more into a flow state. So this is a small thing I talked about. I and this is also a video which I will go or create in the future. So just for short explanation, this video, this like life is a video game becomes Super Mario. This is the script. 
Um, then we have mastering flow at work. There's actually four specific stages. I will not go into this, these stages specifically because I think this video would just take over, but flow stages are built on four different stages. First, we have the struggle, the loading phase. Then we have the release phase, which is the let go phase, kind of like letting your ego and everything go away from you. And then you're getting into this flow state, the optimal performance and phase, optimal performance phase. And then the last one is recovery. We need to actively rest train, sauna, etc. afterwards. And then, yeah, you can also screenshot this one as well if you want to know how to implement this one here. Um, this is also based on the flow research collection. And then what I would recommend to get into a flow setting and gaming for your life, clear goals, active curiosity, challenge and skill ratio, fall beyond comfort, deep concentration, no distractions, and high consequence or real perceived risk. And yeah, this is actually my entire system. I hope I did not forget anything to explain here. These things are explained inside the challenge. So you can read the stuff here. Um, and yeah, like we can go even deeper into this. So for example, how this is structured, how this system works as well with the idea library um, and how, yeah. This is like the script I've done for this YouTube video in some ways. And yeah, the system is pretty interesting. And once you understand how everything connects, because I think the most interesting part is the area where everything merges together. Like every part of this template connects to another another one. So kind of like your mind, like it is kind of like really second brain, but specific, specifically more for businesses um, and for YouTube content or real content, because Every piece is like connecting to each other. And yet, and I tried to create this in like this YouTube script database. So yeah, if you're interested, you can re either rebuild this me method or you can uh, buy this template in a link down below. So feel free. And I hope this was a good clarification on how to gamify maybe some aspects of your life. And yeah, I'm really curious on what you're saying about this template or about this method. I'm trying to make this maybe a bit more simple to explain in the future. Um, I feel like it's still a bit hard. But yeah, I hope you like this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, please comment and try to give me any advice how I can improve my videos in the next time. See you guys in my next video. Bye.